The idea of increasing productivity or your results by 1000% might seem far fetched, but in this video I explain Brian Tracy's 1000% rule to help you get more done through incremental growth. Brian Tracy acknowledged this principle when younger, as he tracked his tax returns where at the start of his career he noted his tax return was $14,412, which after 12 years of work grew to be $1,440,000. Simply his income grew to be 100 times greater during that period. He attributes this to what he calls the 1000% formula, which he has used to help his clients see similar success in their own lives. So what is the 1000% rule? The idea of the 1000% rule is based on the idea of small improvements leading to extraordinary results, which in Japan is referred to as Kaizen and elsewhere often referred to as marginal gains. These incremental improvements add up and compound to lead to incredible results and has been used by numerous successful people and businesses across the world. The idea is to work to get or do a little bit better each day to increase your productivity and output by one tenth of 1% each day. That means each day you are asked to improve in something by 1 1000 times, something which is so small that the average person would have no issues with incorporating into their day. Now continue this level of improvement in a week and you'll see you're 0.5% more productive in that time, nothing that you'll likely find too noticeable, but a result which if maintained can lead to big results. You see that 0.5% becomes 2% in 4 weeks and maintain that for 52 weeks of the year and it reaches an impressive 26%, an impressive outcome by anyone's standard. Now over 10 years you might think that this adds up to 260%, but in reality when you factor in the compounding effect of the growth in that time, the reality is that from your starting point in this journey and the fact you've maintained this habit to keep incrementally adding each day, the growth is actually just over 1000%. This is because of something known as the momentum principle whereby it might be difficult when starting out, but with time it gets easier as you make this a habit. Think of it like pushing a child on a swing, the initial pushes require greater effort, but as the swing continues to move forward and backwards, minimal force is required to maintain that speed and height due to the momentum. However, with this principle, it's as if we never let up on the initial effort we put in, meaning we're not just doing the minimum to maintain the growth, but rather we continue to push to continue growth not good for a child on a swing, as they would soon be swinging around the bar at speeds that terrify them, but for us looking to grow ourselves, it's very much a positive result. Now that we understand a little about the principle, how do we apply it? So for the first tip to implement this idea of the 1000% rule, Brian Tracy recommends getting up 2 hours before your first responsibility for the day, for example work or school. This is so that you give yourself 1 hour doing something beneficial to you, known as the golden hour. A good use of this time is to do some reading, whether it be uplifting or motivational, educational or spiritual, it should be something that gives value in your life. Whatever you choose to read, you should set yourself up for a positive day ahead. The second tip from Brian Tracy is to put together a to-do list of tasks that you need to complete that day, with step 3 being to prioritise that list to ensure that you know which items are of greatest importance. Once your tasks are identified and prioritised, you can action step 4, to go ahead and tackle your most important task. Here you want to concentrate as fully as you can through to its completion, being single minded when working. You then take this approach with each task in your list as you progress through the day. Now we're on to step 5, in which Brian Tracy recommends listening to audio programs in your car for your education, rather than listening to music or something else which provides little or no long term benefits. In today's world where you can consume books and podcasts via audio at pretty much any time, this idea can be expanded to outside of just your drive to and from work. Listen to something educational when exercising, walking, making dinner, cleaning or when doing other tasks. The point is, you should be looking to utilise the opportunities to grow rather than waste them. Why is this all useful? Well, for the average reader, if they read roughly 1 hour each day, they can theoretically get through 1 book a week, so roughly 50 books a year. It's been found that to get a PhD at a leading university, you have to read between 30 and 50 books and combine them into a dissertation in your field. 
So what you're doing here is putting in the upfront work of the research and education in your chosen field. But rather than writing a dissertation, you are looking to practically apply the lessons learned in your own life, getting a comparable level of education to a higher education student. Brian Tracy says that through applying this technique of education and planning, especially planning each day in advance, you can see your productivity increase by 25%. If you then add in setting and prioritizing tasks to the mix, it increases another 50%. Then there's step 6. Here you want to ask yourself two questions after each task, which is, what did I do right? And what would I do differently next time? Brian Tracy focuses on the positive of what to do right rather than wrong, to avoid the subconscious being influenced by the potential vicious cycle of negativity, and repeating the same mistakes you made by focusing on them too much. Instead, you want to focus on what you did right to reinforce and repeat the positive behaviours. Once you have your answers to these questions, write them down to help engrave the lessons learned into your memory. So that's the 1000% rule in a nutshell. And don't forget, it doesn't have to be limited to school or work. Use it in other areas, especially relationships, which you can grow to help be more positive.